crafters, this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That, home of the monthly sublimation box. For today's tutorial, I'm working from our November 2023 box titled, Make This Your Year. See the description box down below for all the items included in this box to help prepare you for 2024. There will also be a link directly to today's product for you to purchase. In today's tutorial, I am going to be doing this calendar. So it comes with your calendar pages. This is what you're gonna sub on and also the rings to hold the pages together. I'm going to take this out of the way. I have already opened um, my calendar pages and so I'm going to do um, this red one instead. So this is what the inside looks like. <clears throat> right, and so your calendar will stand and you'll be able to flip the pages over like that. <clears throat> so you have your 12 pages, one for each month, of course. And there is a dull side and there's a shiny side. We're gonna sublimate on the shiny side. This does not have a protective film over it. It is actually just how the image, I mean, how the, the paper was constructed. So there's nothing to pull off, no protective layer. And then we are just going to go to work. Slide this out the way. I'm going to bring in my design that I have here and the measurements, the measurements for these calendar pages is eight and a quarter by 5.3. Okay, so eight and a quarter, 5.3. So I am just going to turn this over. Actually, I like to start with my one at the top. The hardest part or the most tedious part was the calendar um, itself. I'm going to do my second one, which will only have the calendar on the left or right side, and then an image or a quote on the opposite side. So I am just trying to line this up here. And I'm going to tape it down. Um, and I have been able to reuse my tape um, for this project because I don't have a full bleed. So there isn't a lot of room for anything to spill over where it, there would be ink on the tape. So I'm gonna line up my bottom. Okay, these two I have too close together. So I'm actually going to separate them. Still gonna press them up at the same time, but I do need to separate them. And so I will put the tape on that way. And because I don't have the support, I'm gonna turn this one around as well. And this one too. Okay. So we'll line up this one. Oops, that was solid. You guys will bear with me. I reorganized my space. And while I love what I did with all my sublimation items, um, I also lost my work surface because I was working on an eight foot table and I had everything stored underneath that table in bins and um, totes and crates. So it was great because it also gave me a work surface, 
And now that I have reorganized it, I lost my work surface. So I'm gonna pull this one up. This one was a little harder than my other designs because I had it put, had it pushed too far up the paper. But I was saving space and, and, and giving myself room to connect the two and tape in the middle. But this was the first one. January and February were the first two months I did, so I did them a little different from the others. So I'm taking this over to my heat press, and I am using a press pillow, not this particular pillow, but a larger pillow, um, just to sit my calendar on to give it a little firm pressure. So I'm taking this over to my heat press, and I'm pressing it at 350 degrees for 60 seconds. When you take it off your heat press, be very careful. It is hot. And I'm just going to peel this off. And then just take your time when pulling the tape. You don't want you don't want to rip the, the back. And to be honest, it's very sturdy. I definitely haven't had any issues peeling off the tape. And I have already done 10 out of the 12 months, so it's, it's not too bad. So after you press these, they do curl up just a little bit. They're actually slightly curled even prior to um, you pressing them. So you can either sit something heavy on them, or this is what I did. I just folded in the opposite way and it lays flat. So here are all the other months already done. And I'm gonna get the, the base and we are going to try to assemble it with the rings. Try to come to you guys from an angle just so the glare from the light wouldn't be so bad, but set this on your desk and then every month you just flip up your pages. How awesome is that? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.